பண்ணணும்னாலும் நான் கவனிக்கல ஓகே தானா தேங்க் யூ ஸோ இட்ஸ் அ பேப்லினேஷியஸ் ஃப்ளவர் வித் ஹைலி கிராஸ் பாலினேட்டட் அண்ட் இட் நீட்ஸ் எ ஸ்பெஷல் மெக்கானிசம் வித் இன்செக்ட் ஆர் பி பாலினேஷன் ஓகே ஃபார் ஆர்டிஃபிஷியல் ஆர் கண்ட்ரோல்டு பாலினேஷன் வி ஹாவ் டு கோ ஃபார் இமாஸ்குலேஷன் ஒன்லி ஆர் வி கேன் கீப் இட் இன் த கேஜ் அண்ட் யூ கேன் கோ ஃபார் பி ஃபார் செல்ஃபிங் பீங் அண்டோமோஃபில்லஸ் யூ கேன் யூஸ் ஹனி பீஸ் ஆர் வைல்டு பீஸ் ஆர் ஆல்சோ அவைலபிள் அல்கெலி பீஸ் வி யூஸ் டு சே ஆர் ஆல்சோ ஒன் மோர் லீஃப் கட்டர் பீஸ் ஆல்சோ தேர் ஐ ஷோ யூ த ஃபிகர் and it the flower is complete with 9 plus 1 anthers uh, 10 uh, stamens and uh, five petals and you know the typical papilionaceous flower like your uh, red gram or green gram black gram standard wing and uh, keel petals pistil is also very stim- uh, simple and the stigma is covered with thin waxy membrane and one important thing is uh, very this pollen viability in lucerne it is very short living 3 to 5 minutes only so by frequent visits of this uh, insects only it will get pollinated so whenever you have a loose on field you should have in uh, on the borders or nearby field should be with some good flowers to attract bees or insects that was the main mechanism and you can see this uh, alkali bee tripping on alpha alpha as honey bees sometimes they are very clever they will uh, they won't like that hitting mechanism actually when it sits on the uh, wing petal or, uh, or keel petal the wing petal opens then uh, the uh, what you call that the staminal column along with stigma will uh, touch its back sometimes uh, it will touch its head also and sometimes its legs and uh, these honey bees they didn't like that because they want to have only the nectar so they used to avoid so these alkali bees as well as uh, leaf cutter bees they they used to take uh, the pollen grains as a feed also so in that case uh, this alkali bee will be major pollinator and uh, as well as this uh, cutter bees they used to fly for mostly they will take the leaf only it will be a semi circle cut you can see in lucerne crop i don't know how many have seen lucerne plant first so that was the beauty of this uh, crop and you can see in this uh, this bee or uh, this honey bee sits means this petal will open and it uh, this pollen will be dusted on the back of that honey bee <coughs> this is the mechanism by which the pollen is carried away and pollination takes place lucerne and uh, this mechanism is what we call it as now we can see the color as well as honey bee how it is uh, sitting on the leaf sorry flower and how it is uh, getting that pollen loaded on its uh, legs see this is after tripping it will be like that once it is like this means then it means it is pollinated there will be a definite seed set in this so for selfing technique generally the whole plant will be kept in the cage and uh, some bees are the mostly honey bees what we rare for our uh, farm farm or uh, in our uh, office they we used to keep it for selfing Uh, we have gone for selfing also to get uh, some inbred lines uh, to have uniform uh, lines for our composite as well as synthetics and for uh, crossing what i did is uh, i i have taken a healthy plant and uh, sorry it is 50% not 57% this is 50% uh, alcohol 50% actually uh, this was uh, my own technique what i developed is instead of uh, selfing or even going for emasculation i felt very tough in that so what i did is i started choosing a good resin uh, the plant first the plant was grown in pots only simple small small pots uh, both male whatever male or whatever female i want i i have taken it and i have placed in a, Uh, the working bench and it was grown in uh, normal sunlight condition within 35 to 40 days it will start uh, flowering and it is 24 into 7 flowers when you prune again within a month it will come for maturity and it will flower so i used all this uh, three standards uh, rl88 uh, is anand 2 as well as our co1 uh, from uh, as a female and uh, the same thing with healthy plants are because it was a composite i have taken some good plants as my male and i started practicing emasculation with uh, forceps 
Uh, but the thing is, it was very tiresome. Even if you touch it with the normal forceps, it will get uh, tripped. So some uh, immature. Instead of uh, next day opening, I I have gone little bit higher. Some immature or fifty percent maturity buds I have taken. Others uh, top as well as bottom flowers I used to remove. Three or four uh, in that uh, single regime I used to keep. Uh, with the needles i started uh, taking it out then that was also again uh, tedious for me so what i used is again uh, that watchmaker's uh, lens we use uh, for uh, one eye you can keep it and one eye you have to close and very with the needle also i tried then that was also not working and finally what i did is uh, i took uh, this uh, i came to rs pram for uh, Optic craft. There was one shop, and I uh, I told him that this is a difficulty. Can you keep two of these lenses and keep it in one uh, frame so that I can use it continuously? So they he said, sir, I have one uh, 10x or 5x lens fixed in my mirror for cleaning purpose and other things. We use that. If you want, I can give you for three thousand rupees. So with uh, personal interest, I took that uh, lens. Uh, three for giving three thousand rupees, but still that uh, forceps was very thick to emasculate. Then what I did is I started filing it uh, like a needle. The forceps tip was purchasing a local one and uh, finally finally filing it to a thin uh, needle tip. It was very tough, and I used that also. It was working nicely, and I was able to do a, even from ten to fifteen, twenty like that in each uh, pot. I started uh, doing it. Uh, it was very bit comfortable so uh, luckily one of my friend from nbpjr he told me that you should uh, uh, think, get it from sigma alrich they have a very diamond edged uh, uh, forceps and all for doing this uh, masculation you can try with that then that time that uh, cost of that uh, forceps was about uh, 7000 and we were in a regional station uh, i was also not having that much uh, to spend for my office purpose so i requested my director and he has readily agreed to give me a one forceps for 7000 rupees so i took that from sigma alrich it was so beautiful uh, stainless steel very diamond edge sharp it will be like a needle you can uh, use it to, uh, you can handle the pollen even immature anther sac you can take it out nicely without touching the stigma so that i did it then after uh, doing the emasculation i self did whether it is having scent implant incompatibility or my emasculation is correct whether it is setting seed it was some it was setting seed and some it was not setting seed it was a uh, continuous process for years i was uh, trying with that then finally i thought washing it with uh, distilled water or uh, even rain drop sometimes uh, with other crops experience if rain falls there will be low seed set in cereals so with that concept i started using that uh, what do you call the distilled water in uh, injection uh, syringe i used to sprinkle on that and i used to after emasculation i used to wash that uh, stigma surface and then uh, nearby i used to keep that male uh, parts uh, from the flower i used to pluck it and uh, immediately i should i will touch it that's all no covering because it was very thin and uh, very fragile and small stock uh, you, there is no need for even uh, covering it i used to keep it uh, as such only so like that i tried i was able to get some uh, good uh, seed set so for that only uh, this uh, thing was there then finally i was thinking that how to see whether it is uh, pollen pistil interaction they are telling highly self incantable cross compatible all the things available in uh, lucerne crop so i started uh, doing uh, that also pollen fertility studies also i did uh, as well as uh, selfing and uh, pollen viability then pistil pollen interaction study standardizing this and all i was doing it that some uh, photos and slides i will show you at later part and coming to selection what type of pl plants to be selected for lucerne is more important first thing is it should be the plant should be of good height vigor and tall growing second better tillering it should have a better tillering than only the green fodder because the biomass you need lot of biomass or so better tillering and even after one cut even 40 days if you cut it uh, again it should regenerate very fast and within another 40 days or 35 days it should give again the same amount of green fodder so in a year you can go up to even 10 to 11 cuts in lucerne with the proper irrigation and thing 
uh, earliness also. The, actually, after flowering, when the bud formation stage is there, that is the ideal time for harvesting this loosened crop. So it should be leafiness should be there, yellowiness should be there. And even after cutting, if it regenerate the persistence, even for three, four years in the same field, it should be there. Even the cost of, I think, I don't know now the price for one kg of lucerne seed, you have to spend about 700 rupees that time. I don't know how you are, how much you are giving. Now it is 1,800, 1,300 per kg. So that much, uh, very. They used to uh, say that it is a uh, yellow gold. It will be like your uh, fenugreek seed only, very small seeds, but very costly that time. Even the farmers, uh, I went for Maharashtra survey, even Gujarat and all for collecting these wild types or uh, even our cultivable farms. The farmers were not even ready to spare uh, some uh, some farmers. Then when I requested for this purpose, I am collecting. You know, they started uh, giving me. A little bit even uh, one packet i used to get because a lot of variability naturally they were uh, giving in gujarat that kutch area and all even uh, saline taller salinity tolerant uh, types and all we have collected so and the persistence is more important than disease as well as pests uh, being a protein crop uh, they used to go for in vitro digestibility test also so palatability, the animal should uh, eat well. But generally, these uh, animals, especially lucerne, they will eat well. Still, there are uh, wild types. What we have seen, they, they won't touch it. Even in our IJFRA experiments, they used to say that uh, we have a lot of annual medicago species. They tried with that. At least uh, annual medicago, we will produce seed production and we can give. Uh, directly importing it and multiplying it and giving. In that also, again, the pest problem started. So. Uh, they stopped it. So digestibility and palatability in that type of uh, medics, we used to call that uh, animal medics, that one, that was also not possible in that. So and in, uh, in November, December, January, February, cold months, it should be cold hardy to grow, regenerate, and uh, good nutritive value should be there. For that purpose, you have to go for selection. and. Uh, Mostly for selection, you have to select a plant which is very much attractive to honeybees rather than wild bees because wild bees you, you cannot find everywhere. But honeybees you can rear and you can keep it on the loosened uh, buns or a field nearby so that the seed set should be good. Height, I have already told you. Root system, uh, generally we, we may not be able to find, but to simple one row tests are sometimes we will uh, grow in our tubes and we used to see the root system, especially after composting uh, and to, to before uh, giving it as a composite, uh, we used to study at uh, our Jansi. Uh, mostly by our visual observation, we will see or we will select in the population the dark green leaves for our breeding purpose. So mostly it is uh, self-fertility based less. It is highly cross-compared, cross, uh, cross-pollinated crop. More, we will get about 15% self-sterile also in that. Male sterility, sometimes it, they are having it in uh, some uh, uh, wild species I have seen after my crossing program. Even some are uh, cytoplasmic sterility also I, we have seen in our f ones Degree of uh, crossing as well as compatibility with individual plant differs, and uh, uh, with that we will we will be getting lot of uh, variability, and uh, we we got it with uh, good uh, variable types. Uh, with, and finally, when you go for uh, composting, the combining ability we will study, and uh, plant uh, with good combining ability we used to select generally. Uh, for germplasm, we used to get it from this uh, legume information system. One is there. Then uh, there are uh, Medicago genetic reports we have. Then uh, where I used to get my accessions were from uh, Margaret Ford uh, forage germplasm uh, from New Zealand. And a lot of literature uh, for this thing, even volumes and volumes of work has been done abroad. And if you really... If you, interested anybody working on lucerne can go through this entire uh, studies you can find in this very few from indian uh, origin but mostly are all abroad literatures so main our institute they started with uh, only introduction from other uh, state uh, agriculture universities 
and uh, some natural selection as well as artificial selection they have done and uh, uh, they were not able to give good varieties but uh, they, there are examples for from uh, outside our country there especially this grim 451 it has been uh, artificial selection for, and uh, this is being widely cultivated in earlier days and recurrent selection studies are also there mostly we will go for multi line varieties especially uh, mixing two or three uh, varieties or inbreds or whatever combinations they feel and they will go for that these are all abroad literatures, say range lucent, which, which has got some different composition, proportion, and they generally use it for hay purpose, not like our uh, green fodder purpose. These are all hay purposes. And uh, our, uh, even uh, state agriculture universities are our, in, our university, our IJFRA, we tried initially with, uh, till now also, I think uh, this is the practice what we are doing for polycross generally. But, uh, this polycross technique also, I think they are successful with, and how much improvement, I don't know how much yield improvement you are getting for uh, C4. When compared to C1, how much you, you can get 10% increase over yield? Any idea? Huh? It is there. Okay. So that was the thing. And uh, these are all the simple scheme. I think maybe you might have studied in your uh, selection procedures that's for synthetic cultivars how it was done initial selection then uh, identification of plants they can pulling it and allowing it to pollinate from that again you will identify the progenies with the best progenies you will take that uh, lines and it will be again bulked and uh, synthetic two generation will be taken like that uh, the process will be repeated till the breeder will get a genetic gain in the yield especially green fodder yield and it will be released as a variety so there are uh, hybrid varieties from abroad this hybrid uh, force for 400 these are uh, early 80s uh, entries uh, and uh, they have initiated the process in 80s and but uh, it was mostly private companies they are involved in no government uh, even usda they have germ plasm but they don't have uh, even nobody, government organization is putting effort on that. But uh, a lot of private companies are minting money with the parents what they have developed, like this hybrid uh, 400, hybrid 421. For uh, They have different characters, specific characters for a specific region they have developed. And uh, by seeing the literature when I was uh, do, uh, around 2009 or 10, some private companies, they have uh, this, uh, what do you call that? Uh, Male serial lines also they have developed and it was patented. Even you cannot see the patent. What material they have also you cannot see. And nobody can spare also their material. So that was a very tough time. We were not able to get even a good material for generating variable. Whatever is available in Anand or even iCrip projects, they used to give for evaluation. In that only we used to select some plants. This was continued for years together. And uh, finally, some uh, high-tech research was also initiated at IJ for a main campus. More than crores of money they have spent for a biotech lab. One entire wing was given with all marker estate selection. Uh, and all many breeders were uh, after me were recruited for this. Three, four biotechnologists were also there. And uh, they were not able to give any fruitful result. In fact, uh, they were trying in tetraploid, some complex, even uh, lab studies also, it was not uh, coming up. So my director was putting uh, pressure on me and I was also uh, completing about three, four years uh, that time. And uh, so I tried with the help of uh, U.S. Darwat, some of my colleagues, um, uh, they were in uh, colleagues um, family friends and uh, their missus they were in the university it was very approachable so i approached a genetic department there there only i studied this uh, uh, male sterile uh, lines uh, pistol pole interaction study i tried there then embryo rescue i tried there uh, wide hybridization i started after that only so a lot of uh, help from our uh, nearby university since our institute is premier and uh, i think i was in 4-h i think now madam pushpam is also there but uh, you can initiate some students to have but you should get a good germplasm from 
IGFRAR from NBPJ. I have deposited everything in NBPJ. 50% of the material I have taken, and 50 is still with them only. You can ask any of your friend there so that you can get and uh, the idea I can give, but uh, this definitely it will be helpful. So this is our uh, Lucerne field at Darwad. Now I have come to my, again, back to my IGFRA field. Uh, and this is uh, Lucerne in uh, flowering. Uh, see, I started with in 2007-8 with about 37 accessions from Jansi from midterm storage. They have collections and uh, three accessions uh, from TNA 01 from TNIU and Anand to RL88 from other uh, universities. So with the morphological study, everything here, here I, I started screening it. And uh, this uh, Darwad, I have selected some of the accessions from uh, their collections and the, this 24 bar 2007, IJFRA 30, 34, LLC. This, this LLC is from, uh, I think our uh, Vijay Kumar sir was that time head. So he has given me some polygraph material and uh, I was uh, taking uh, help of uh, him only and uh, to initiate my work I have taken that. I should thank him for, uh, uh, he was giving me the material from iCrip. So again 8 and 9 uh, some polygrasses were up and that. Uh, then uh, I went for some selection till uh, F3, the S3. Meantime I brought about 27 of uh, annual Medicago species. That list I will show you later. All are uh, 16 chromosome number only, yellow flowered only, different types of uh, parts, shapes and all it was there. And uh, there was one paper in uh, TAG that time, our uh, Dr. Amresh Chandra, that time he was uh, working on that to be a stem weevil resistance. And he said that it will be resistant to uh, stem weevil. So my director told you can use this one for your crossing program. So that was Medica Gascutaleta, that also I used that accession name is EC541685. I was using that for my crossing program. Uh, then meantime, simultaneously, the selections from uh, our uh, polycrosses also, it was uh, forwarded to next generation. Uh, and with our my hand emasculation and uh, pollination uh, technique, I was not able to get because uh, after three days or five days, it started uh, falling. So I initiated the pistol pollen interaction study in 2009-10 only. Then in 10-11, uh, uh, I went for uh, some indigenous collection for Maharashtra completely. I did about 19 accessions, different types. I have brought it from Maharashtra, uh, as well as from parts of Gujarat also. Kutch and all we visited and we have taken. And, uh, and I started uh, doing interspecific hybridization with uh, scutellate as uh, annual medical as a uh, female also. And uh, I tried you, general practices. We used to go for a uh, very adapted, uh, agronomically superior variety as a female parent. But uh, in my case, I want to see whether uh, there is possibility for uh, using scutellate or incorporating that genome in medical sector. I tried both ways. And uh, I was able to get many of the accessions from uh, Margaret Ford uh, for a germplasm during 11-12, uh, about uh, 23 germplasm accessions. They, they were different. Uh, they will give a catalog in that. You, in that catalog, you can find even for quality or for uh, by name itself, you can see that uh, this variety is for uh, weevil resistance or for persistence or for cold tolerance like that. They will give. Accordingly, based on the catalog, I, I started taking uh, many of the materials and uh, and these materials uh, with my own uh, hybridization technique, I started uh, doing crossing and uh, I was fortunate to get a lot of good populations with 30% uh, seed set uh, for 14% in our uh, uh, this thing. And one interesting thing is one uh, high altitude of this uh, crow, this uh, Medicaca falcata type, it was yellow flower type. Uh, a varia type and uh, I I was uh, using uh, that one uh, also for my just to create variability not out of curiosity with hand emasculation and pollination only and I was able to get about 60 seeds in that and when I when it was sown uh, it was totally of a different uh, type of uh, prostate uh, erect uh, semi creeping and colors also from white to purple, yellow, all variability I got in one, uh, this uh, 60 
press. It was so interesting for me that uh, something has come uh, out of the effort. That was a very encouraging result for me, even not of commercial value. But uh, when I saw it, uh, OK, we can at least break uh, in this point and we can give. Meantime, uh, I was uh, multiplying this uh, variety with uh, my polycross varieties with uh, isolation in our uh, farm. And luckily, I could find about 1.5% uh, increase in fruit protein. So I told I have one variety, sir. You kindly transfer me to Kwambutu. That was my request. I was told to go to Darwad. And from Darwad, uh, if I give one variety in Icrip, I will be sent to Kwambutu. Like that, they were telling. But I was not given that chance. My director told, no, no, it has to be evaluated. You give, multiply the material, and then you give me, it will be evaluated. But the crude protein was good, but uh, yield was not uh, even on par, bit less. So uh, in the first attempt, they said, no, no, Karthikeyan. Uh, after, I think, 11, I have given. After three years, I came to know that uh, this was uh, right, two years. Next year only, they have told, yield was not good. Then somehow I requested my director, sir, uh, I will again improve it and I can give. So like that, uh, one more, uh, I have given it to my uh, institute. Uh, luckily, last year, in September, it was through in All India Coordinator Research Project with ANPAR yield and uh, protein. It was through and uh, I'm waiting for the Gesset release. January only, it was accepted. So I'll be getting one All India variety in Lucerne, especially for Rajasthan zone and all. So that one, uh, with this uh, weevil resistance also, because that uh, population was uh, with weevil resistance also. So luckily, I got one variety. And same with good quality protein. Instead of pushing it to Ike, we have pushed it into Darwad region as well as Pune region. There, one uh, state variety release also I have given all recently. See, I left IJFRA after getting my principal scientist in 2013. My senior, Dr. Sridhar, now he's heading IJFRA Darwad. So he followed it up, and uh, we got uh, two entries from uh, my work. So that's why I want to share you this information. Uh, even though the work is for six, uh, six seven years, but further follow-up, multiplication, isolation has helped me in giving uh, two varieties in Lucent. Even though I have put about 10 years of service in sugarcane, I was not able to give this year. Uh, every year we used to give for uh, PZVT multiplication as well as for thing. Still, I was not able to give. It has not come to co-status. Uh, so I thought uh, with the success story of these two entries, I can give in uh, uh, forage rather than in sugarcane. So this was that uh, my study with uh, Lucerne in uh, crystal polar interaction study. This was only the interesting thing with the scutellata as well as uh, uh, this is with the scutellata self and uh, uh, Poland, how it has reached that overview. And this was uh, in, and initially in some uh, even after 120 hours, you couldn't find the seed set in this. Uh, it will be like this only, no germination, nothing when you go for self. And uh, after my crossing, this is uh, the resin uh, stock, and uh, three or four flowers will be in that. Out of uh, this thing, I was able to, even more, maybe 200 flowers I might have done like that. And I was able to get only this uh, three plus here, five only. And in the out of uh, five, two are only empty, only these three I was able to get. And definitely, I know that uh, because of this shriveled nature, this may be uh, some abnormality and maybe a hybrid. So it was uh, again. Uh, put in uh, US Darwad for our, uh, what do you call that, uh, half MS media. And it was tried, and uh, I was able to regenerate three plants. And uh, even uh, it after some regeneration, it started uh, drying. So what we thought uh, for going for uh, callousing, and uh, we will go for uh, multiplication. Very practical study, time consuming, but uh, out of interest and uh, help from uh, our colleagues outside and started doing it. So this was a further multiplication of the colors. And uh, in 2013, when I came out, uh, uh, it has given a root only. Still, I, after that, I think no followers for this work. And uh, university people also said, uh, Karthikeyan, this was actually in one of the farm for cotton. Uh, uh, they used to go for this tissue culture work. 
so there i have requested and uh, this was kept for long time these are all some of the accessions what i have taken from uh, uh, new zealand uh, margaret ford for a germ plasm you can see the characters see first uh, why i have chosen this is this is my prime objective the source of our we will resistance I, by name itself you will see we will check so i used this one mainly for that and uh, one more this vernal this was a very 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 old types in uh, uh, early developed by our people for winter hardiness as well as this this is the main parent for many of the crosses so this uh, i was using uh, and uh, i think crow i think I, I have not mentioned this uh, this pioneer this is a uh, uh, us uh, hybrid and they have not disclosed the parent so these also they have uh, very good characters like this i have got about more than 30 40 extensions in two sets i have taken in the second set only i've got even arborea i, I got it but uh, since i got transferred uh, back to Coimbatore, i didn't give i, I have handed over uh, the seed material back to pune or our uh, jansi only See, this is the we will uh, stem we will uh, and uh, if you this percentage of seed, you can see the uh, population, how it was screened. And uh, you won't believe this was uh, even uh, screened at uh, Jansi. And the network is uh, NBA, uh, that uh, Entomology Institute at our uh, Bangalore. They were also taken as a, with the friendly relationship only. The seed material, even the larvae was taken from uh, NAR and it was given to Pune even few. Uh, controlled condition testing even my director told it should not be tested at darwad and you should not introduce the pest to that region unofficially it was taken and one entomology was associated with me at darwad and one entomology at bangalore and then one entomologist at hotspot jansi with that thing uh, the screening process was this was the field at jansi before uh, giving for icrip uh, then dr shah was there and we were uh, doing a aggressive selection was there and very, with very good cooperation i was able to get the material and further multiplication there was no problem at uh, our uh, uh, darwad regional station so this is about the crop one interesting thing about this crop material is after crossing with this material lot of variability was there and one interesting variability was this one lucerne flower means it will be petals will be attractive but in this case, it was a reduced petal, but uh, both male and female uh, part was very fertile. And it, uh, uh, you can see the protruding, uh, that uh, initium as well as stigma in this. You can see this one. And I don't know with the temperature sensitivity or not, it was not pollinated. It started setting seed also. So this happened in uh, 2013. Uh, I was getting this material, and I, with, which was very interesting. I, I have given this uh, to my seniors also, but uh, nobody was interested to take up this work because of uh, scarcity of fund as well as manpower effort, actually. That was not there. So I lost this material. But uh, now also I can uh, generate this material with the CROW and RL88. That can be done. That much I am sure. I in fact, this if the seed is with me now, I will be one of the partner in Rasi. It is a multi million project, and if you get it, I think in India you can supply the seeds without pollination. It can be multiplied and it can be given. That much scope was there, and like that, only private people are doing also. But still, I have interest in this thing, but. I, because of uh, rules and regulations, I don't want to even, uh, I frankly, uh, I was telling to Babu. Babu was the forage head that time. He was requesting many times, sir, you can give me some material because IJFRA is not sharing. Even uh, NBPJR also being ICR, you can get, sir, for us, it is very difficult. Even he was not able to get even a single seat from anybody. And he was insisting, but I said uh, ethics, professional ethics is there. I have to get my pension. So I handed after my selection, I handed over all my materials, everything 
uh, to my head at crop improvement head and i have told if anybody posted at the darwad i can give them training i can uh, tell him how to do and how to proceed almost 10 years over nobody has been posted at darwad till now only dr sridhar is looking after i thank him for giving me uh, see this is a recent mail i got in september from him anand we will check lucen a w c l 2 this is uh, has been uh, identified by central variety release committee this was one uh, for central variety and this is the state variety from uh, tnao that sorry this uh, us darwad meeting uh, this is i think uh, 23 january they have issued and you can see the second one uh, that is ijfra lucen variety 5 dl5 darwad lucen 5 so thank you thank you very much for uh, your patient learning and uh, thank you madam for giving me this opportunity also i thank pgd for selecting me as a external examiner and uh, giving opportunity to present my work thank you onanda thank you any questions you can yes, madam it will take about uh, 120 days for pollination and then uh, for a response and uh, even if you get a seed now within one month you will get the seed and if you put it in the media 3 to 4 days you can see the response if it is swelling means definitely it will give within 3 months you can get hybrid within 3 months no hormone nothing is required you just to try with your student half ms media and any wild if you get it or even a better uh, uh, material in your thing identify only two plants male and female in part you can grow on your workbench you can keep it and you can do emasculation and class okay. no need for even uh, just even a distilled water wash is okay or else 50% ethanol or 10% ethanol you can standardize it no problem with the injection syringe wash it open it you know, pollinate and keep it you can see the tip with the that white dust and within 4 days the bulging will be there beautifully you can lively you can observe and definitely you will get good uh, things thing is you should get a uh, germ plasm accessions from outside source then only the variability will come and loosen tna you will give some good in place that is sure for that so in 2019 we have released this uh, lucent co4 but uh, the demand is not that much from almost from tamil nadu uh, compared to sorghum uh, and maize african tall and all going very well but compared to that uh, for lucen this crop uh, not that much demand from the farmers Adam. the main thing is uh, it's it is coming up very well in cool climate only mainly in uh, this uh, um the region it's coming up well in hot climate and all it's not coming that's why the farmers they are not prefer preferring but you have so what about your uh, experience in in your place where you work but actually no? our area darwad is very cool place cool place cool okay. place very quite much better than uh, coimbatore very cool place good water source is available and mm-hmm. rain also well, mm-hmm. well distributed rainfall Mm-hmm. so that was good and in and around pune so if you can find you no know, there they will go for irrigated thing only but there also i have seen maharashtra people that to farmers it needs cool weather yeah that's is what i am telling you have kvk you give seed to all kvks and ask them to go for a thing many farmers they are not aware of lucen they will go no maize or kambu napier hybrid that is different for a legume fodder that to green fodder this is the best even 1 1.5 kg per animal is enough it will improve the animals uh, milk yield uh, even body health as well as coat uh, shining and i have seen it in darwat yeah the thing is awareness uh, only very rich farmer and some farmer with animals nowadays farmers are not keeping animals also much but very good farmers even for, you can uh, try with uh, dairies private dairies no they have field you give it to them promote the crop okay rs other bersim style other things and all it is when compared to lucen nothing will give that much green fodder yield so you should try with them only you you should have a rapport with private milk dairies 
or else some good farmers in and around erod uh, erod you can try madam yeah pollachi well in erod pollachi then up to udupalpet it's coming so, okay. then other after that uh, then you have to go for drought hardy types only that's why i told mm-hmm. you there are drylander alfalfa many are there okay. uh, even though you, the thing is icri program also you have to change so they will ask for uh, buy fund all now they will give good uh, fodder yield as well as protein but uh, when it comes for adoption to uh, other areas it won't get adopted even in the trials all india quarter trials if you can see na our variety will not perform there because of uh, weather condition only so and your material is from the same population pool you have not given any variability from outside source see if uh, you are drylander alfalfa or even crow or some k- kind of uh, dry types or some creeping type something it should be there or drought hardy germ plasm material you should get and you should it should get incorporated okay then only it will come or else uh, it's very tough okay. so specific location specific only you can mm-hmm. go still uh, i want to tell you in darwad whenever we go for this uh, uh, agriculture exhibition there it will be for 3 days lakhs and lakhs of people will visit us darwad exhibition 100 gram packet we used to sell for that time 35 rupees or 40 rupees first day itself it will all the farmers will come and take and a lot of revenue generation we got it from that one only lucen uh, i think uh, still our many farmers they are not popular they are not growing even a small area 20 30 rows if they have no first row they will harvest on first day and 30th row when they harvest on 30th then first row will be ready for harvest on 31st day so like that uh, they can keep it for 3 4 years perennially okay. bit of drought hardy 